Hello everybody, my name is Marlo. Today I'm going to show you how to build this super simple starter house for your survival world. I'll show you how to do the outside as well as the inside. So, let's begin. This right here is all of the resources you're going to need for this build, so pretty much all of them are to the exact number and you will need most of them, but there's a couple. You don't have to have item frames or paintings, they just make for a nice little extra touch, and you don't need a light grey bed, you can have whatever colour, and you don't also need to travel all the way to a swamp specifically for a blue orchid, any type of flower is fine. To begin with here we're going to grab our oak logs and barrels and find a nice place to put this house in and place our first logs, the corners of the builds, in a square formation like so, leaving a gap of three between each block and then we can bring each of those logs up by two more on every corner. And now we need to decipher where the front of our house is going to be, so let's say this is the front, we're going to leave that blank for now, come round to every side and place two barrels like I'm doing here, making sure they're facing upwards. Next up we're going to fill in our roof and add in the chimney, so start by facing the front of the house here and come round to the right hand side, place in a row of slabs like this and then one more here and place a brick block, that's going to be where the start of our chimney is, we'll come back to that later. But fill in the rest of the roof here, you probably could use four oak planks for this but since it is a start house and everything, you probably have limited resources so may as well save on some materials where you can. Place another brick block on top of that one with a campfire on top of there and then a spruce trap door on each of the four sides which makes for a nice little chimney design. For the front of the house here we can start by placing two oak planks on either side like this and then stepping inside placing our door at the back of that block there just to add in a little bit of depth and then two stairs on top of those blocks with three upside down ones above it. Grab your spruce fence, hang it from that block there with a lantern underneath and I'm going to assume you don't have silk touch already so place in a dirt block there and it will eventually grow to be grass. Surround it with spruce trap doors to make a nice little flower bed and then place your flower of choice on top like so. The left and right sides of this house are completely identical so I'll just show you how to do one for now but start by placing three oak logs at the top block here connecting them like that and then an oak stair in the middle of the two barrels with a glass pane on top and then two oak planks on either side with a spruce trap door on top of those blocks to make some nice shutters and then we can quickly run round and do it on the other side too. So the back of the house is virtually the same as the two sides except from one tiny difference. We've still got our oak stair in the middle like that with our glass pane on top. Two planks either side with our trap doors like that. And then instead of having the oak log coming across like this, we're going to have a full block here and another one there and then an oak stair in the middle looking like that. That is the exterior of the house all done, so now we can head on inside and do some work on the interior. So the first thing we want to do as we walk through the door here is replace this top right hand grass block with a crafting bench. And then we can get rid of the other eight blocks like so. And then grabbing our strip spruce logs, we're going to do a bit of a checkered pattern design. So place the first one facing into that grass block and then two on either side of the log and pretty much repeat that pattern. So facing the log, facing the log and then on the side, facing the log and on the side and then it should look something like this. Now we need to add in our ceiling and complete our chimney design so the first thing we're going to do is place a brick block underneath that one there with a furnace underneath. Makes sense having the chimney attached to the furnace I think anyway and then we're going to place two slabs like that next to the oak log here and then three on the other side and then three more in the middle here and then we can add in two spruce trap doors to make it look like the furnace is being held up by some sort of table but this also double functions as a way to get to our crafting bench here. Now you may be thinking, where am I going to store all of my items? There's so little room in here and we haven't even placed in the bed yet, but that's where the barrels are going to come in handy. Not only do they look nice from the outside, but it's actually going to serve as a way to store all of your items. It's the equivalent of three double chests, so that should be more than enough for a starter home. So yeah, pretty neat little thing. We've got our storage built into the walls of our house here. But anyway, we can place our bed down in this corner here and then add in a spruce trap door as an extra little support and then a fence over in this corner with a lantern on top to light this place up a little bit. 
This trapdoor doesn't have to be part of the bed design. We could use it for its main function of, well, being a trapdoor, hiding away some extra items in case you need it. We can sneak a chest down in here and maybe even add another barrel below this one in case you need some more items. Or maybe you could hide a hidden ladder here in case you want to expand underground sometime in the future. I've just got two final finishing touches for you guys to add in. The first one is going to be a painting on this block here, but we are going to need to grab a temporary block to place here so we can keep it one wide, put our picture down, and then we can get rid of this one here. And then the final thing is to add an item frame in above our doorway here. Maybe you went fishing on one of your first days and caught yourself a salmon. You could hang that up there as some sort of a fish plaque or maybe a clock, although that is quite expensive, but it does look pretty nice, I think. Or or maybe you could display your first wooden pickaxe that you crafted. So there we go, that is the inside of your house all done. This place has all the necessities you need for the start of a world. We've got our crafting bench, we've got a furnace, we've got plenty of storage as well as a bed to sleep the night away in. I'm sure you're going to reach a point fairly soon where you need to move out onto bigger and better things, but I think this just looks a little nicer than a dirt hut. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you out if you decided to build this house in your own world. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.